this is Bridget. And this is Ian. And we're here on NHL Today. To talk about, first of all, Scott Niedermeyer retiring. After 18 glorious seasons in the NHL, he's finally gone. You know, he's, he's 36 years old, so he's a little old. But, you know, he's still, he's still a great defenseman because he, he set up all these offensive plays all the time. Yeah, he was, he was great with the Ducks. He got them to a Stanley Cup. Great he with the Devils. Great with the Got Devils. them to a Stanley Cup. Uh, again, was, like, against the, the Ducks. Against the Ducks. Against the Ducks. Who would have thunk? Karma. And, um, yeah, I mean, he was the captain of the Devils. And the Ducks. Yeah, and the Ducks. <laughs> I don't think he was captain of the Devils. I was... A, I, yeah, I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, anyways, I, don't, I don't know. So, yeah, he was he was a great captain for the Ducks, and it's going to be hard for the devil or the Ducks to find a new defenseman who has the who caliber. Also, who also has the offensive traits, as Niedermeyer does. Yeah, because Niedermeyer has made an impact on this club. I mean, look, first year they ditched the Mighty Ducks game and they win the cup, you know? Exactly. It's all thanks to him. He's he's really all done thanks it. thanks to Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer, if you're watching out there, you're amazing. Yeah, he's 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 done it this year. I mean, he's got a great career too. Two Stanley Cups, a couple, I mean, a couple gold medals, a Norris Trophy. I mean, he's got it all. I mean, he's got it all. Hope he spends more time on the golf course. You know? On the golf course, you know, oh, yeah. as hockey players do. Yeah. Okay, so the next topic is about Evgeny Nabokov not being with the Sharks this season. Yeah, General Manager Doug Wilson told Sharks.com that. They had to free up salary cap space to resign key players like Marlowe, Pavelski, Nickel, Maholtra, Valin, Setaguchi. All those guys were key in the Sharks' playoff run this year, despite being swept in the third round. Also, you know how much was it going to balk off salary? Like six million. Yeah, so they're going to be That's, able to resign a lot. Of they're guys. going to be able to resign a lot of guys with taking, not necessarily taking away Nabokov, but getting rid of that $6 million that they still need to pay for Nabokov. Plus the salary cap is going to be increased by an estimated 5%. $3 million. So, 5%. Yeah, about 5%. And Doug Wilson told told us today, we would like to thank Nabi for the time he spent in San Jose. He's been a big part of our team for the past 10 seasons, and he played an important role in our success. This decision boils down to a dedication of dollars in a salary cap system, and under this system, teams can't keep everyone. It's sad, but it just had to happen because he cost too much. The Bokov, you cost too much. I wouldn't even buy you. Yeah, I mean, come on. It, yeah, he's just not consistent. He's, I, a, he's a great player when he wants to be. Yeah, he's just not consistent. I'm, I'm, I. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't knock the sharks for this one. Love the sharks, but the walk off. You're, you're not like completely consistent as we'd like you to be. Yeah, I mean. Plus, you're getting a little old. Yeah, and plus, the, they can fall back on a lot of people. They have Thomas Grice. Who else they have? The other guy from Sweden. They have that Alex guy. Staylock. Staylock. Yeah. Alex Staylock, who's... Is he playing in Worcester right now? Yes, he's in Worcester. Worcester. Yeah. Okay. Cool. cool. Today, NHL.com announced their new schedule for the 2010-2011 season. There's a record. Six teams playing in the outdoor game this year. Can you believe that, Bridget? No, I cannot believe that. That is amazing. Speaking of games, you know... There are pe the teams that are opening for um, just the season in general. There's the Carolina Hurricanes versus the Minnesota Wild in Helsinki, uh, Columbus Blue Jackets, and the San Jose Sharks ooh, ooh. In, in Stockholm, and then the Boston Bruins and Phoenix Coyotes in Prague. 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 It's Prague. I don't care. In the Czech Republic. So that's pretty amazing. And also, the Pittsburgh Penguins will be. Leaving Mellon Arena after a, what, what was it, like, almost, like, 43, 33-year run or something it's like that? like 43. And uh, they will be starting up in the Consell Energy Center against who else? I have no idea. Oh, no, the Philadelphia Flyers on the, <laughs> on the home opener. And, uh, of course, because the Pittsburgh is so cool, they have to be in the Winter Classic again against the, win against. the Washington Cla Capitals. Boo. Again. At uh, Heinz Field in um, Pittsburgh. Home of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yes, home of the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't like football, but I'm just... I, I don't either. Okay, yeah. And um, also, there are rumors circulating that the Calgary Flames and the Montreal Canadiens will play 
in an outdoor game of their own up at McMahon Stadium in, I think it's in, what is it in, like Calgary or something? I think it's in Calgary. Anyways, yeah, so that, that'd be cool to watch. That'd be cool. Um, All-Star break is January 27th through February 1st, so that'll be fun. It'll be hosted at the HS, oh wait, no, that's in Buffalo. Yeah. The um, Carolina Hurricanes will be hosting it for the first time that homo Gary Bettman announced it. Hockey like day, it. hockey day, um, uh, whatever. Um, there's nothing really hugely big besides six teams playing outside of America slash Canada. So that's that's actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad that we have that kind of representation. And also, this is coming straight in from the presses. On October 30th, there will be 14 games going on. Holy 14 crap. games. 14 games. Can you believe it? It's a lot. I cannot believe that. That is a lot of games. But this year, or this past season, there was 15 games one time. Super Sunday. But you know, oh, whatever. Yeah. 14 games is still pretty cool. 14 games. I'll be sure lot. to watch all of them. I'm gonna tape them all on my on my AT and T U verse over over down yonder. There, right there. That's where I'm gonna be taping them. All 14 of them. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something that's never been done before. I'm gonna get 14 crappy ass TVs and plug them into a bunch of cable. Boxes. Watch them all differently. Yes. So that is it for the season. Okay, so the next topic that we're going to talk about is uh, the Oilers giving Tom Rennie the um, coaching the title as the new coach. Pat Quinn, who used to be the coach, he was. Um, Isn't he now the? Um, he is the. I believe he's the superior advisor. Pat Quinn, okay. Senior advisor. Senior there advisor. You go. There we he go. He is the senior advisor for the Oilers. I, I'm not surprised that he got canned because the Oilers were horrible. Yeah. This last season, their record, as I have been just informed, was 27, 47, and eight. And they earned only 62 points, which is. Fewest worst, in the NHL. worst in the league, and that's the worst they've always they've ever been. Yeah, I mean, I, that's horrible. Yeah, oh my God. Hopefully, a uh, a new head coach can set them straight. You know. Yeah, because well, I mean, not only that, but I mean, the Oilers had eight. Well, they over the season they've yeah. had a lot of guys who've Get been injured. injured. You know, like just random crap, like broken hands, broken foot. Most of them were random like stuff. were had were sick. You know, from the flu. Yeah, and because there the, was a pandemic in Alberta, and there's record eight guys injured right now on the injured reserve. That's a lot. Yeah. A lot, a lot. Um, a lot, a lot, that, a lot, a lot, a lot. To sum it all, to sum it all up, you know. Um, the Oilers, hopefully they have a better chance this season because they have a new coach, you know. It, who knows? Because look at the Sharks, you know. We got rid of Ron Wilson, and they did pretty good their next season. So, But, I mean, like, it's, it's, it's hopefully something that will boost their confidence. Yeah, I mean, the Oilers, honestly, that was – this season was horrible. It was horrible. It was, oh, I, I, I almost feel bad because they were so horrible. Yeah. What's a, oh my God! What surprises me more is, despite how horrible they are, they actually had a few a good games this season. So that's good for them. But still, they're this Randy guy. He's gonna have to. He's, he's gonna, gonna have, have to step he's up. He's gonna have to kick it in the butt. He's gonna just be. To he, get he's right. gonna have to crack down on these Oiler people. Yeah, that's it for hockey today. That's it for hockey today. I'm Ian. I'm Bridget. And I'm Ian, and you've been watching. So, bye. Bye.